three dogs working as a family for a unit. Gods united. That's what other people do, right? No, that's not how. No, 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 no. Non-Christians, not Christians. If you read, if you read the, the, the Bible, from... you misunderstand, my friend. No, I'm saying. Yeah, I, I don't want. What, I I'm saying. I'm saying non-Christians, non-Christians view it this way. But how do you, as a Christian, no, understand this? Let me tell you something. If you really want to know it, no, no. I want you to give your um, experience and your understanding. So how do you see this? This is my question. Because we see it differently, you see, when we hear you believe in Father is God, Son is God, and Holy Spirit is God. Perhaps we make this error that there's three gods, right? But I want to know from your Christian understanding, how do you say that's not three gods, but one God? Sorry? When you say nothing is impossible, I mean, you have to... Describe God the way He is, right? I don't want to play the role of God, okay? Let me see something, okay? Who among men knows the thoughts of men except the man's spirit within him? The same way no man knows the thoughts of God except the spirit of God which is him. God, according to Jeremiah 29, he will reveal it to you. I'm just a man. I can convince you until... It's not about... Um, this is not science. No, no. I am simply asking you, how do you understand all the other people, non-Christians, those who are not Christians, they see this as three gods in a family? Well, the thing is, I said to you, they will not move to this position because I'm, the Spirit has testified to us. I just want to know what gives you the rational understanding that is actually not three gods, but one god. Because Number one, Malachi 3 6 says, I'm the Lord, you know, uh, he, sorry, I beg your pardon. Deuteronomy 6 4 says, Hear, O Israel, your God is one. One. Does one mean one or does it mean something different? So, you know how the Hindus believe? Sorry. You know how the Hindus believe? Sorry? Excuse me, sorry. Um, I was going to him too. This is a revelation. Did you? So you can't, you can't did you come to have a conversation yeah. here or not? No, I didn't. No, right? You didn't. No. So you're just basically here channel and to not willing to have a conversation. Yeah. I'm not talking, I was talking to this gentleman. I was talking to this gentleman. That's why. So anyway, that's fine. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Um, maybe another time when the cameras are not here, then we can have a discussion. Is that all right? Are you okay with that? Yeah. Yeah. When the cameras are not around, maybe we can have a discussion. Are you okay with I'm this? I'm not interested in discussion until you're really seeking God. You want an answer from, from a science point of view. No, no. I'm not I believe in God, but I want to know your perspective. I, I believe in God. I want to see how you rationalize that three gods is actually one God. That's a simple question. Without any offense to you or insult to you, because you believe Father is God and He's one God. You believe the Son is God and is one God. You believe the Holy Spirit is called as one God. But they are not one and one and one. Three gods are one God. How do you reconcile that? What's this simple question? Well, I he's reconciled it for himself. I reconciled it by the Holy Spirit. Um, have you reconciled it for you as well? Yes. yes. Right. Can you rationally explain that? You don't need to. Yes. Go ahead. But I won't. Oh, sorry. Because I'm not here for your benefit. I'm here to preach the gospel. And these are all your benefits. All right. And so, you so, so the gospel. That's fine. That's fine. I have no room. That's fine. So in the day of judgment, when I stand in front of God and I'll tell you, what's your name? Tony. Tony? 
wasn't interested in telling me the truth. And you'll say, yeah, so, I didn't like this guy. Telling people who are open, but not the and how do you know I'm not open? Isn't that the reason I'm asking you to give your perspective? I've spoken to millions of Muslims. Millions? With the same, uh, the millions? Same, the same thing. Okay. Yeah? Over this millions of Muslims. I'm just interested in asking you a question. Go ahead. No, thank you. Oh, you're not interested? No. So basically, you are very selective in who you preach to. Are you happy with your faith? I am very happy. That's well, then. But I feel the responsibility to convey the message of truth to you as well. well it's all around us. Sorry? It's all around us. No, no. And I can, I can no. read my Quran at home when I go home tonight um, if I want to. That's absolutely fine. But by the way, I wasn't having a conversation with you. I'm not sure why you got triggered. No, I'm not here for anyone's benefit. Apart I wasn't God. speaking to you in the first place. I was speaking to a gentleman here. No, I apologise. Uh, excuse me. I apologise. I just keep, keep the physical distance. Yeah. I just need to tell him that we have the issue of salvation. Absolutely, yes. Do you? Do you? I do have no problem. Right. Do you believe in one God or three gods? No, one God. One God. What's his name? His name is Jesus. Right. Does Jesus, this one God, have a God? No, it says only one place Jesus Christ called God my God, and that's in Psalm 22. So now you have one God always call my saying God, my, my, my God. God. So how many gods do you have now? No, Two. You call, you call my father. You just said, Jesus says, I'm going to I am going to my God and your God. Did he say that? No. This is just until one place is called. Can I show you where he says that? He says, I am going to my God and your God. Your God, just that's in the New Testament. So he said that. So he has a God. My God and your God. Wait. Jesus, you said, is the one and only God. Very God and very God. The one God, right? He said there is only one God and that's his name is Jesus. But Jesus is saying he has a God. So we have how many gods now so far? God. That's Jesus and his God. Sorry. You said, you said, Jesus is the one God. He's a very God. And he has a God too. No, he doesn't have a God. He said, I and my father are one. I and my father are one. Did he say, I am going to my God? My God and your God. When he say my God, does he have a God? No, it's not. It's not, it's not it's a, what does my, my God mean? What does my God mean? What does my God mean? So if, if, if somebody says my God, no, when he says my God, when he says my God, that's a figure, does, of, speech. A figure, of, speech. A figure of speech. So he doesn't have a God. Um, just want to summarize very quickly. So we were having a conversation with some Christians, as you can see. Every Christian to speak to, they have these heretical views. Out of convenience, they change their belief into a heresy. So he believes Jesus is the only God and he doesn't have a God. Even though the scripture says so very clearly. I quoted the scripture when Jesus says, I'm going to my God and your God, my father and your father, right? He says, no, this is figurative speech. It doesn't mean that he has a God. But he doesn't know because, you know what, this is how it's been fed to him. Even Paul says, the God of our Lord Christ. Even Paul admits that Jesus has a God. So what can we say about these people? Is there any sincerity? Is there any truthfulness? Or this is plain dishonesty. May Allah save us from falling into these errors. And we pray that they wake up to the truth and to the reality and know that Jesus is only a messenger of God and worship none but God alone. Let's pray and hope that they actually wake up one day and God guides them if they show some sincerity. Okay.